All right. Welcome back. Well, we're ready to jump into hopefully the final part of the Northwest Fab Doubler install on the Truggy here. I guess this would be part 24 of the Truggy build. So we got the C4 already in the truck. I'm going to show you that. Uh, cross members all done. Um, everything turned out pretty good there. Very happy. So uh, let's go to the intro and let's get into this. Hey, real quick, uh, before we get into the rest of the video, I just want to address something really quick. If you're new to the channel, if you just now jumped into these, these video series to do with the doubler stuff, the transmission stuff, make sure you go back, check the main channel, check all the old videos, the whole build process of the truck, the MUT. Um, V8 swaps, straight axle swap, long arm suspension, custom interior, custom dashboard, custom bed cage. If you're looking for some cool Ford content, there's not a lot of Ford Ranger stuff out there. I mean, cool build stuff. I mean, there's a lot of cool Ranger stuff. But if you're like me and you bleed blue, and you love the Ford stuff, you know, all the, uh, nothing wrong with all the Jeep stuff. Those are my peoples too. But um, between me and my buddies with our Bronco 2s, Rangers, Explorers, got a lot of content on the channel in regards to build projects, off-road trips, overlanding trips. It's all kinds of stuff. Take a minute. Go back. Look through the old videos. There's 20-some uh, there's videos of just this truck alone. So uh, do me a favor. Go back. Take a look at it. All right. Let's get back to it. Okay. Like I said, transmission is installed. Um, I got some help the other day from my buddy Eric. Um, it was more about just getting it installed than it was filming it. So it's already done. It's already in. Let me uh, show you how that turned out. All right, there it is. C4 is in. Honestly, it was probably the easiest trans install ever. <laughs> we just basically lined up the uh, converter with the flex plate. We uh, put it up in the air, and it literally just slid right on and into place. And then from there, it was just uh, put the bolts in and the nuts on. So pretty uneventful. Got the shifter cable. That's all hooked up shifters all done everything's in sync there and the trans cross member um, got real lucky um, my buddy Roger that was building this truck before I owned it built this cross member for it and lo and behold it ended up working out perfectly for this application also I just had to modify it slightly had to uh, change the ends of it how it mounted to the frame rail a little bit and then uh had to do a little bit of clearancing on it, cut some pieces off, re-weld some stuff. And then with a, a Turbo 350 GM trans mount on the uh, advanced adapters tail housing, everything uh, fit right in place. Driveline angle's good. I did test fit the doubler uh, two times, and I had some interference uh, with the floor pan. You can see there I had... Uh, kind of whap that, put a couple dents in that. But uh, other than that, everything's looking like it should fit. I had to do some modifications to the doubler itself. And I will show you that next. So as far as the transfer case goes, um, the way I had the stud set up, the clocking was off a little bit and needed more drop. So I ended up moving all of these studs one hole counterclockwise back those all up lock tighter them in now so they are good to go the drop is going to basically be exactly how it was uh, factory without the doubler in place so nothing changed there um, did have some clearance issues um, northwest fab give a straight barb fitting for the vent tube that hit the floor there was no way to get anything on it so change that out to a 90 degree. That looks like it's just barely going to clear the floor pan. And this bracket, mounting bracket for the shifter here, I had to grind off that top corner because that was hitting the floor pan as well. So now that that clears, everything should work. 
going to have to get um, creative with uh, getting this up in place. And then it looks like all the shifter cables are going to have to go on before this is actually up into place. Because once it's up on the transmission, there is no room between the floor pan to get up into here to mess with any of the shifter stuff. So all the cables will get hooked up while it's sitting on the jack just before it's up in its final place. So not too terrible now that I know kind of the uh, the process here. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get this thing stabbed next. Okay. Doubler is hooked up. Just had Lisa go inside and use the handle. Everything works and moves like it should. Handle seems to be in a good spot up there. So we're good there. Now I got to hook up. So I find that nut. Got to hook up the transfer case ones. It looks like I'm going to have to jack it up a little bit more. I don't have enough cable here. So let's uh, get those hooked up. And then I can finally put the RTV on the gasket and get it up in place. Oh, and voila. <laughs> it's in. Holy crap. That oh, was not fun by myself. Didn't, uh... I couldn't leave the tripod underneath here. I was kicking and flailing around and knocked it over a few times. So I just said, screw it. Let's just get it in. So it's all bolted up. See right there. Nuts all got lock washers and blue lock tighted. Got all the shifter cables hooked up. I got clearance. Worked out really good. You can see that 90 degree fitting. There's no way the straight would have worked. Over here, you can kind of see where I dinked the floor. That fit perfect. So, everything's good. I think I'm going to look at maybe, uh, so the cross member, the duff one that ties the two radius arm brackets together, it's right, basically right in line with underneath the transfer case. So it's going to work out real good. I think I'll build right off of that make a mount with a uh, rubber bushing just to stop it from bouncing around. I'm not really looking for it to carry a bunch of weight, but I just think uh, another mount just to uh, prevent this end from bouncing up and down would be beneficial and uh, might actually give me something to build off of for a skid plate to cover all this down here too. So there it is. That bad mother is in. And voila, there we go. I ended up taking the James Duff cross member. I had to slightly modify it. And by slightly, I mean a lot. Kind of had to notch it to clear the bottom edge of the transfer case. And then I reboxed it all in, plated it, welded it all up. And then I bought a, a transfer case mount kit from TMR Off-Road. This is going to clamp the output of the Dana 20. Uh, fortunately, the heavy duty output housing that I have on my Dana 20 that's from Advanced Adapters shares the same 3.9 inch diameter. Um, I don't know, it's got a machined register area. And it's the same as an Atlas. So, this is their Atlas uh, mount kit. I've already got everything all figured out had to make these tabs here I had to make the ones that came with it wouldn't work no big deal so everything's uh, cleaned up painted welded so let me throw this up in there and we'll uh, see how this looks okay so here we are so you can see that machined area on the output housing behind the flange that's where the TMR mount is going to clamp to so I'm going to get the cross member up and we'll see how this looks. All right, there it is. Got it all bolted up. And I got it so there's not really, it's not suspending any weight. The, the bolt there is actually, when uh, I can slide it in, I can slide it out, I can turn it. Um, so it's basically just there to prevent this drivetrain from bouncing around and putting some undue stress on the all the aluminum housings. So turned out pretty good. Let's see here. 
clamps around the output housing. Down it's got urethane bushings. Everything's tied into the radius arm brackets on the frame, so I like it. Should work pretty good. And while I'm doing uh, transmission stuff, got the trans cooler, the front mounted one, got that mounted up. All the lines are ran. So I have the transmission fluid coming out of the trans, coming into this cooler first, and then it travels all the way to the back of the truck. And there's the rear mounted trans cooler that has the electric fan with the thermostat control. So two trans coolers, everything's plumbed. So I can check that off the list now too. Outstanding. List is slowly but surely getting shorter. All right, where is it at here? Um, plum trans cooler. And it's been on there for a minute. But it's gone. And the dry shaft, I dropped the rear dry shaft off to get shortened today and dropped off the front one to get a new front one made too. So moving right along. All right. And 48 hours later, there's the rear dry shaft all shortened up, bolted in. Length worked out perfectly. We are all good there. It'll be another day or so before I can pick up the front shaft. But anyway, this lets me um, go ahead and address the Annie Rat Bar. I'll probably pick that up in the next video. I'm going to have to remount the cross member. I'm probably going to have to shorten the uh, Annie Rat Bar because I lengthened it originally. But anyway, uh, transmission. I got all the cooler lines in. Cooler lines are all plumbed, P clamped. Up to the floor, trans coolers there, lines routed, everything away from any heat sources. So, uh, very happy. It's turned out really good under here. Again, there's the uh, brace for the transfer case. Very happy with that. So, I think that's just about a wrap under here. All right, I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. I'm going to keep it short. This pretty much puts a stamp on the uh, Northwest Fab Doubler build and install for the Mutt. Turned out really cool. Very happy with everything. The JB uh, Custom Fab shifters in there, the triple sticks. Like those a lot, too. Um, just got to keep going, man. Keep picking away at stuff. So the drivetrain now is basically done, minus. So it's going to be a couple days I pick up the front shaft for this. Get that installed. That would be no uh, no drama there so basically we're down to uh, finishing up uh, wiring I have a lot of just kind of loose ends I didn't want wiring running back and forth on the chassis if I had to do any more cut and grinding welding I didn't want to take any chances damaging that same with the fuel lines and brake lines so uh, wiring and plumbing and this thing will be popping off here real soon so stay tuned come back for the next one like it share it appreciate it thanks guys bye